In this section, we're moving from the theoretical to the practical, diving right into how to use Zapier to automate your work. You'll learn how your automated workflows, which we call Zaps, pass information from one app to another. You'll also learn how to think through the logic of a Zap and how to use this logic model when you're creating your own automated workflows. You'll create your own Zap and apply the lessons you've learned so far to solve a problem you've identified in your own life. And finally, you'll learn how to manage your Zaps within Zapier and how to make sure your automation is working the way that you want it to. By the end of this section, workplace automation won't be an abstract, futuristic concept. It'll just be a technique you've put into practice yourself. 